If you um, watched my vlog and, and read my blog last week on food addiction, uh, you know that I'm writing a book and um, it's basically designed to help people lose weight and maintain that weight loss permanently. Phil Wardell, who's the co-author of Food Junkies, The Truth About Food Addiction, uh, at a conference I was at last year in October, probably gave the best description of the three different types of problem eaters there are out there that I've ever seen. I've always had an intuition that there were these three types, but I'd never actually seen it before Phil quantified it and put it up on the slide. And, and I actually use these categories now. I'm, I'm including them in my book, and I use them when I'm working with someone. First off, there's the normal eater who is overweight or obese. And yes, there can be normal eaters who are overweight or obese. These people are people who simply need some information. They, they don't have an eating problem. They don't crave food. They don't eat too much because they, they, they want it. They just don't know what healthy eating is. And so they find themselves overweight or obese just for a lack of information. Okay? And then there's the emotional eater. And this is a tougher case to deal with because usually they suffer from anxiety and depression. It's usually pretty severe and it's often accompanied by uh, childhood trauma that has to be worked through. So medical intervention is often necessary. Um, sometimes medication, psychotherapy, group therapy, that sort of thing, trauma work, trauma counseling. And then there's the third type, which is the food addict. And they present an awful lot like the emotional eater, but they have one main difference, that their bodies cannot tolerate addictive foods, generally wheat, flour, and sugar. When they eat them, they crave more. And it keeps, uh, it keeps them in the cycle of, of waking. So the reason why it's important that you figure out if you're struggling with your weight loss, whether or not you're a normal eater with overweight or obesity, an emotional eater, or a food addict, is because if you don't know what your problem is, you can't apply the right solution. For too long, we have just treated it as one problem, as a physical problem. You just gotta give the person the right exercise plan and the right food plan and we'll be fine. But there's the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual that comes into play in the emotional leader and in the food addict as well. That needs to be addressed. And if it's not, the person's not gonna have success. So read through my blog, okay? Tell me what you think.